Okie dokie, today I'm going to show you how to build a fence picket door. These are just cheap fence pickets and this is cedar wood. All I've done is these are six inch fence pickets that are actually like five and a half inches. But anyway, you can see the fence picket top and I didn't even cut these. They're six foot tall and my doorway, I made it to where it was six foot that this door would cover that opening at six foot tall. So I didn't even have to cut them. You can see the stickers on the bottom. And I've put them all together. And you can see these screws are screwed into a board that are linking these all together. If I open the closet door, you can see I used a one by four here, a two by four here, and a two by four down there. Now, if you wanted to, you could have run another two by four up right here, linking these all together and then one over here going down to build a frame inside this fence picket wall here that I've built. It's basically just a fence with this board not going all the way through and that's because you don't want the door that board to hit the wood like in that back corner or right here or right there see it can still shut inside that and at the bottom, it can still shut. I had to cut the trim at the bottom down below. I used my osculating tool to cut that. I left a gap at the bottom. I've got two hinges, one right here and one right here. And you can see what kind of hinge that is. Just got a couple of screws. And on the back side of that hinge, it looks like this, three screws. There's one there and there's one at the bottom, just the same. I didn't put one in the middle, but, but you could if you wanted to, they come in packs of two though. And these two by fours all shut inside that frame. And you can see how I framed all this in, the, in another video that I'll link at the end of this. Another thing I wanna say, because the latch is so high at above six feet tall, um, toddlers and kids and things can't get into this hot water heater closet. They can't get burned. They can't get hurt. So that's latched up here. So an adult will have to open that or um, a teenager or something like that. Also, this was under 50 bucks to build, to sheetrock, build the door, frame the door, buy the hardware, the latches, and everything was less than 50 bucks. And this is what it looks like. Doorknob, all you do is pre-drill a hole wherever you want your doorknob. And then you put the knob up to the hole. And from the back side, you screw the screw into the knob through that hole that you pre-drilled. That's all you do and pre-drill all your holes through your fence pickets because they're fairly thin and you don't want to break the wood. So pre-drill all those holes and make sure that they're all lined up with the board that you have running through there. So here's the board I ran through there and here's all my nails that I pre-drilled that go into that board and make sure that the gaps are closed. Not all the way though, or at least on a hot water heater closet because you can get some airflow through those cracks to keep the hot water heater from getting gases built up inside that closet. And that's all there is to it. This is what my kitchen looks like when my daughter's gone and I'm working on the house. Just swept up the floor right here and that is working well.